Back by popular demand, we're gonna do another video about some fly fishing websites you may or may not have heard of. But I'm pretty sure the last one we're gonna cover, you've never heard of this one. So I also need a little bit of help. If you guys know of any websites that I should be highlighting or would like to see me highlight, drop those websites down in the comments. Don't leave the link because my filter will block it out, but talk about them and I'll Google them and I'll cover them on the next video. So thanks for your help with that. Now, one of the, one of the fly shops that kind of surprised me, right? I don't know how this never got on my radar, but on the last video I was talking about this and somebody said, hey, what about fly fish food? They even have a YouTube channel. So I looked them up and sure enough, how this never hit my homepage, I, I don't know. They've got like 74,000 subscribers and they've got some really good stuff on their YouTube channel. But they also have a very large online presence and a couple of mega stores, one in Utah and one in Idaho Falls. But be sure to check out Fly Fish Food. I mean, from the looks of it, their website looks really solid. Tons of stuff. And you know what? I wish I had a mega store in my neighborhood. <laughs> that sounds pretty cool. But I think they also, I was kind of looking through their videos, it appears that they might have opened up another store just recently as well. So the next website we're gonna cover is called Trident Fly Fishing. And they've got a pretty big presence. In fact, I went down their fly rod list. They appear to have every single brand of fly rod ever made. Huge presence online. They also appear to have a store in Wyndham, Maine. Ben Freeman, is the founder. I'm not sure if it's still family owned or not. Maybe somebody that knows the shop could let me know, but it appears to be, but they have a great presence online and evidently a fly shop over in Wyndham, Maine. So be sure to check them out as well. And so I promised myself on this video, I would not talk about my website, fishonrods.com. Not gonna do it. Just, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep my website completely off this video. We're not gonna talk about these fly rods that are really awesome and super affordable, the top notch. We're gonna, we're gonna keep fish on rods out of this video. That's the promise I made and I'm gonna keep it. So the next website we're gonna talk about is in my home state and it's Emerald Water, <laughs> I can never say that name. Emerald, Emerald Water Anglers. Why is that a tongue twister for me? I have no idea. But they're over in West Seattle and they could use a little bit of love. Dave McCoy's the owner of that shop, been there a lot of years. We had a major bridge that connected Seattle to West Seattle, which was closed because of cracks for like over two years and it really did hurt his business. So it's back open now. You could probably use some love. Head over there if you're local, say hello, take a look at his shop. He's got a great shop, lots of flies, which I always appreciate, comfortable. They got some leather chairs in there. You can just kind of sit back and relax, but it's a great shop and they also have a great online presence as well. So I'm sure the guys down at Emerald Water, Emerald Water Anglers, it's like a tongue twister. Emerald Water, Emerald Water Anglers. Emerald Water Anglers. <laughs> oh my God. All right, you, you can see it in the video. So you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so the last website we're gonna cover, something I'm fairly certain that you've never heard of, is Ed's Fly Shop. See, I can say that one, that's easy. Ed's Fly Shop in Montrose, Colorado. This guy started in 2010 out of his garage and he's built a great online presence and he's got a great shop in Colorado. Never been there, but I've seen some pictures and it looks pretty good and come on, have you ever been to a bad fly shop? So check out Ed's website right here and if you're in the Colorado area, give him a shout out and check out his shop if you're ever in Montrose, Colorado. All right, so that covers it and if you missed, if you happen to miss, the first video covering some of these obscure unknown websites, check out this video right here. I cover some pretty cool websites and some other family owned businesses. All right, I'm gonna go do some mouth exercises so I can actually speak clearly and we'll see you on the next video. All right, everybody, till next time, fish on.